Markets shrugging off trade war concerns. My next guest says that the threat of tariffs can be useful, but only in the right context. Here now is Martin Feldstein, Harvard economics professor. Sir, thank you for joining us. You are the one that taught me originally that the trade deficit is not the right metric to look at it here. The president keeps quoting this trade deficit that we have with China. Why is that not, not the right focus? Well, looking at a trade deficit with one country and hoping to find some way of reducing that trade deficit, that's not going to change the overall trade deficit that the United States has with the rest of the world. So if we uh, strike some deal with the Chinese in which they sell us less and buy more so that our bilateral trade deficit goes down, we will still have the same global trade deficit because that's driven by what happens in the United States, by the fact that we are consuming more than we are producing. Yeah. Uh, al almost every economist out there is for free trade. Um, the tariffs are a tax on the people. But you say in an article that you wrote today that the use and abuse of tariffs can work in some contexts. What contexts are those? Well, I think in the context that uh, the United States faces with China. I mean, I'm a free trader. I am against tariffs in general, but here's an opportunity to say to the Chinese, you can't keep stealing American technology by requiring American firms to take on Chinese partners if they want to do business in China and then taking that American technology. So I think the threat of a substantial tariff on Chinese goods may bring them to their senses. Yeah. The, the president said when he was at the G7 and, and was arguing with some of our other allies about tariffs, why don't we all just drop the tariffs on each other? None of them bit. Why do you think that was? And do you think that that is truly the president's long-term goal is, is free trade? It's very hard to say. I mean, in the current context, there's nothing to suggest that that's where he's going. Uh, I worry that he's trying to do a deal with the Chinese where they sell us less and buy more from us in order to reduce our bilateral trade deficit, which is very large, almost $400 billion. That would give him some bragging rights, but it wouldn't change our overall trade deficit with the rest of the world. Why do you say that you think there's nothing that suggests that he's going for free trade when that's what he offered at the G7? He has somebody like Larry Kudlow, who you know well, who is very much against tariffs and, you know, understands the fundamental problems with them. You really think there's no evidence that's where he's heading? I don't see the evidence. What I see is that he is raising tariffs, raising tariffs on, uh, on China in a big way, raising tariffs on our other trading partners. So at this point, I would say he is trying to get changes in behavior of those countries rather than trying to eliminate tariffs worldwide. All right. Marty Feldstein, thank you so much for joining us.